There's a new push as of late to look at the future on the shores of Lake Ontario, east of Toronto. The Pickering Nuclear Station will reach the end of its life in just a few years, and now there are many fighting to have it torn down as quickly as possible. Paul White has lived on the shores of Lake Ontario and Pickering for 50 years. He remembers the day the switch at the nuclear station was turned on and looks forward to the day it's turned off again. What are your hopes at this point? I, I think uh, the short-term decommissioning is the proper way to go, uh, not only for the people presently living here, but for the future generations. The push is to have the plant dismantled soon after it closes. At this point, it's scheduled to shut down in 2024. But Ontario Power Generation has a license to extend that for another four years beyond that. And so a petition was put together by the Ontario Clean Air Alliance, an organization that has turned its sights from the fight against coal to nuclear and freeing the land and pickering for other uses. We're saying as soon as the station is shut down, it should be immediately dismantled because it's sitting on a 600-acre prime waterfront site in Pickering, right on Lake Ontario. And if we immediately dismantle the plant, then most of this 600-acre site can be returned to the local community by 2034. And that will permit a wonderful, wonderful revitalization of the site. It, we can create parkland. We can create a new community. Just last month, Pickering City Council passed a motion to support having the station dismantled as soon as possible. Some see it as an opportunity for employment and having those currently working there and more involved in taking the next steps. Encouraging jobs from engineers, scientists from all over the world to be part of it here in our city. So we see it as an economic uh, leverage on moving forward. So for us, decommissioning is the beginning of the next chapter of winding down the nuclear plant in the city of Pickering. In response, the OPG says it shares the enthusiasm of Pickering Council for future opportunities that will benefit economic development within the city of Pickering. We look forward to continued collaboration on these efforts. Where the nuclear fuel is eventually stored still hasn't been determined, and so it will need to cool down on its current site, and that could mean decades. Not the answer someone who's been living with it for decades wants to hear. Hopefully, if you move the process along, it's better sooner than later. Mark McAllister, City News.